What am I doing is I'm understanding the choice I have in my approach. I don't simply have to respond in one way. I can say the same thing in different ways. How are you? How are you? It's the identical wording said from a different ego state. One is asking how you are because they don't like you, and it's a demand. And the other says, how are you, which is information seeking. If you looked at the words written, you would not be able to tell the difference. But you can tell the difference because of tone, style, driven by source of behavior. Source of behavior is critical parent. If I said, how are you, from angry child, it's very different from, how are you, from nurturing parent. When we are developing or coming up with our approach, and we're starting to formulate those questions, right? Because one of the things we said is, in order to maintain adult to adult, we have to do so through the use of questions. Now, Paul said earlier, it doesn't matter what kind of question you have. When you ask a question, it's going to force someone to stop. It's going to force the brain to turn on. It's going to force the rational to kick in. You're going to have to come up with the answer. Does that make sense, right? Time? Do you have the time? Right? <laughs> right, exactly. But the point of it all, and this is after the example, and you've seen me do that in class, and Paul just spoke about it. He said, if I ask you the time where you're going, then are you going to respond? Now, take this one step further. If we actually look at what happened here, I directed the question to Rob. And what did Dave do? He looked at his watch and said, well, rationally, let me see what the time is, right? So people will respond as treated each and every single time.